Hey, it's Maddie. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about cleaning out your FPV motors. So if you've got all kinds of dirt, dust, or other debris stuck inside, I'm going to show you how to take it apart, clean it out, and get it running like new again. A few things that you're going to want to have on hand is some sticky tack, maybe a little rubbing alcohol. We'll see about that. Q-tips and an old toothbrush. This is really, really, really key. So let's dive in. All right, so we've got our motor and we've got a 1.5 mil screw that we need to get out. I either use this like little Husky driver here or I'll use the ethics tool. It's got actually a really um, hard metal that it uses. Sometimes I find that the uh, these drivers are they, they're a little soft. You can end up actually stripping the screw. So anyway, we're going to take this off. And at this point, you should be able to separate your motor. Um, now, it is a little tough because of the magnets inside. It really wants to stay together. So it can be a little bit of a, a pull to get it off there. Um, but a little trick is you undo the bell screw and then you put the motor back on. I'm gonna do this one-handed. Just screw it back on, and then at least you can get a little extra leverage to separate the two. Um, and inside, we can see this has some nasty brown stuff kind of stuck to it. Um, not necessarily looking to get rid of that because uh, it's not actually obstructing things, but the bell itself can use a little bit of a cleaning. So to get started, I recommend this Loctite Fun Tack, call it Blue Tack. Take a little bit of this. Shouldn't need much. And you're just gonna mash this in. You can see it's already cleaning it. And that actually looks pretty good. Let's see here. I've actually got another bell sitting to the side. This one's pretty nasty too. So we'll just go ahead and clean this out as well. So you just mash it in there. This is more of a magnetic dust. You can see how brown and nasty it is. I'm just gonna work your way around the bell, make sure you get full coverage, really get it in deep. You wanna make sure you're also not only cleaning out the magnets themselves, but you wanna make sure there's nothing in between the magnets and nothing left caked in on the top of the spoke, which it looks actually pretty clean. Now, the next thing that I like to do is because sometimes you can't actually get everything with the blue tack. This is kind of like a grabs everything at once is you could grab a Q-tip and just run it around. Sometimes I'll shoot a little, I'll use a tiny amount of rubbing alcohol. I don't like to use alcohol too often because it can... Uh, It dissolves a lot of adhesives, so you really do need to be careful with it. But sometimes just a little bit inside. Like I've never had this cause an issue where the magnets fall out or anything 
crazy. But you can see how disgusting that is. And you just clean it up. looks pretty good. And I'll show you, just for completion here, I'll show you, you can use a little alcohol also on the toothbrush. If you've got an old toothbrush laying around, hopefully you brush your teeth. If you don't, you've got problems. But just go in here. And same thing, you just give it a little bit of a run through and then come in with a clean Q-tip and just kind of rub it clean. And the faster that you actually get the alcohol off of the surface, the less likely that it is that you'll actually damage anything. I mean, you really shouldn't damage much. Again, I've never had a problem doing it this way. Looks pretty good. Let's check this other one. This one's pretty good as well. The toothbrush is great because you could actually really get between the magnets. And you might notice, uh, let's see if we could see it here. I'll use this zip tie to point it out. You'll see this little, this dark stuff in there. That's actually put there by the manufacturer. And this is what they use. It's like a putty that they use to balance the bell. So um, you don't necessarily want to remove that. Like you can see, got a little piece here. Um, let's see if I got another bell laying around. This this bell is disgusting, but I'll just show you. It's got this this putty on it. So you don't want to remove that if you see that. Um, you really just want to get the loose debris stuff like that, and just kind of leave the putty in place because that's going to keep things running well. Sometimes I'll run my pinky through it. Just make sure things look pretty good, which they do. Hit it with this one more time, get my finger oils out. shaft and that's it put it back together make sure everything's clean on top here top of the bearing um, i don't usually use alcohol in this because these bearings are not fully sealed and there is like a factory grease that's in there um, so i usually just leave it and just kind of brush it and on the bottom half you can do that as well just take this off This one's pretty clean here, but just give it a little, a little once over. And you want to gently put these back together. You don't want to snap them because you'll actually damage the bearings inside. Now we're going to reassemble this, put the screw back in. Now these screws usually come with a little bit of Loctite, blue Loctite on them. So you can either just kind of chance it or not. Um, I usually just leave them be. I don't think I've ever had a screw come out, like back itself out. Let's put it back on. And not super tight, finger tight, just enough to get there. I think we're good. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you found it to be informative and helpful. And if you have any tips on how you do your cleaning, please share in the comments down below. And I will catch you guys on the next video very soon.